Happy New Year! It is 2017 and maybe you're sitting down and making your health and fitness resolutions. Well today I'm going to share three ways that you can get unstuck in 2017 and crush your goals. And be sure to stick around because after I share those three tips, I'm also going to tell you about something very exciting that could make this the year that you finally commit to a healthy lifestyle and make those healthy habits stick for good. So, happy Monday, happy 2017. I am Melanie Ash of MelanieAshFitness.com and today I want to talk about your goals and your resolutions. So, the new year is here and maybe you're sitting down and you're thinking about what you want to accomplish this year and inevitably there tends to be a health and fitness goal involved in that. Maybe you want to lose some weight, maybe you want to start eating healthier, maybe you want to get stronger, any of those things. All great resolutions. And resolutions are great. However, resolutions don't always succeed and there's a reason why they don't always succeed. And that's because we tend to bite off more than we can chew or we set kind of vague resolutions that aren't really measurable or we think we want to accomplish something but we have no real idea of how we're going to do it so we say we're going to do it and then we don't. It just never happens. So today, let's talk about three ways that you can get unstuck. You're facing a new year. You might be reflecting on last year's resolutions and how those turned out for you. Maybe you're still feeling frustrated or feeling like you're spinning your wheels with your health and fitness goals and you're just not getting anywhere. Take a deep breath, refocus, restart. Here's how to get unstuck in 2017. My first tip is to start small. Yes, pick one or two goals that over time will have a very large impact, but rather than saying, all right, I'm gonna get eight hours of sleep a night, I'm gonna get to the gym five days a week, I'm gonna eat vegetables with all of my meals, I'm gonna lose 30 pounds, I'm gonna start doing yoga, rather than saying all of these things that are wonderful goals and that sure, we'd love to do all of those things, but you set yourself up for failure by over committing, by telling yourself you're gonna do too much. It's too much change and it's too hard to create that much change all at once. Start small. What are two, one to two, two is even a lot, maybe just one small goal that you can set that if you achieve it 12 months from now, when we're talking about Happy New Year 2018, will have had a huge impact on your life and on your goals. Pick one little thing and we'll talk about in this next tip what maybe that thing could be because tip number two is you've got to make your goals measurable. If you have a goal and you're setting a resolution, you can't be vague. You can't just say, I'm going to start eating healthier. Put that into terms that could be easily defined so that anyone could actually assess whether or not you've achieved that goal. Make it measurable. Not, I want to eat healthy, I'm going to eat five servings of vegetables every day. You can measure that and you can look at that objectively and see whether or not you ate five servings of vegetables every day. Not that I'm going to go to the gym more. Put it on a calendar. I'm going to go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to work out for an hour. I'm going to do this workout or I'm going to go to this class. If you are going to commit to going to a class, sign up. Put it in the calendar now. Sign up for all of January. Make it measurable. Now, these things have got to be tangible and you've got to have action steps of how you're going to do them. So, putting this tip number two together with tip number one. Start with something small and make it measurable. So let's say that what you'd really like 12 months from now is to be 10 pounds lighter than you are this morning. Let's start with what's one thing that you could do every single day for the next 365 days that could take you light years towards approaching that 10 pound weight loss goal and make it measurable. So rather than thinking about getting rid of the bad habits that you probably should get rid of that aren't helping you reach your goal, let's talk about adding something good. Because a lot of times it's, it's mentally more tailored palatable, I guess is the word I'm trying to think of, more palatable to think of doing something, adding something, than taking away something that we're already doing. So what's one thing that you could do every single day that would have a very good likelihood if you did it for the next 365 days to bring you towards losing 10 pounds? Getting 10,000 steps a day on your Fitbit. Measurable. Accountability with the Fitbit 
a measurable gauge, so 10,000 steps. Did you get there or didn't you? If you did that every day between now and January 1st, 2018, I guarantee you, you will probably have some weight loss. Are you definitely going to lose those 10 pounds? Maybe not but that is going to bring you so much closer. And once you've done that, say by February or March, that's a habit and you're there, then you could always set another action step, pick a new resolution or a new goal. Another example would be, as I said, getting five servings of vegetables every day. Don't worry about anything else. Keep doing everything else you're doing. Get five servings of vegetables every day. Commit to that like it was the most important thing in the world and do that every day for 365 days and I guarantee you, you'll be better for it when January 1st, 2018 comes along and you may have also found that you've improved and added some other good habits along the way. So if you wanna get unstuck in 2017 and you're ready to crush your goals, number one, start small. One, maybe two super small goals. Step two, that are measurable and tangible and actionable. And I already told you what number three was. That is doing something every day. So to keep it simple and to make yourself likely to succeed, whatever you choose, do it every single day. You can still, you know, aspire to go to the gym three or four days a week. You can still aspire to eat healthier, get more sleep, all of these things. But let's start small. Pick one goal that if you do it every single day for 365 days, something measurable, that is going to bring you so much closer to your overall larger goal. The truth is that change is accomplished little by little over a long period of time. In a few weeks, you might forget. I do this every year. I write down a bunch of resolutions and I'm all gung-ho. And then I was just thinking the other day, like, what were my resolutions from last year? I don't remember what they were. Rather than writing down all these dreams and goals and aspirations and thinking that this is what you're going to do in the new year, commit to making one small change and just repeating that every day so you can build new habits. Because creating new habits is how we effectively eliminate old ones and change our lives one step at a time day after day, week after week, month after month, and in long terms, year after year. You know, I often tell people what changed my life, gosh, more than 10 years ago now, when I started on my health and fitness journey, was that I told myself I was gonna go to the gym every day. Go to the gym every day. I didn't worry about other things. I was still smoking, I was still eating fast food and not eating very healthy, and not you know, taking care of myself in other ways. But I told myself, I wanna lose weight, I'm gonna to go to the gym every day. And I did that without fail for at least three months. And at that point, that became such an ingrained habit for me that I didn't have to work so hard at that, I just was doing it. I just knew I was gonna do it and I kept doing it. And then I started thinking, you know, I should probably, I don't wanna be smoking, I'm doing all this exercise, I should quit smoking. Kick that habit. Then over time, I started thinking, gosh, I'm losing weight from exercising. I'd really like to feel better and I'd like to lose even more weight. I should probably change my eating habits and stop going and getting Wendy's after I get done at the gym. Now, I will tell you, I used to get their side salad and a yogurt, but still probably not the healthiest choice. So you can see how one tangible action step repeated over time, day after day, can add up really big. And now I want to tell you that one of the most important things I think you can do, whether you want to get healthy or lose weight in 2017, is learn to meal prep. And this may, be, <laughs> this may be somewhat of a surprise to you because I think a lot of people think that you're looking around, it's January 1st, you're looking around for a diet program or a workout program. And I will tell you right now, a meal plan or a 21-day plan, if you're jumping into some 21-day smoothie thing, sure. Is it going to bring you results in the short term? Maybe. Probably. However, when you're done with that 21 days, you're going to be like, oh, thank God, I can eat real food again. And you're going to go back to eating how you were before. And you're going to put the weight back on. And you haven't learned anything except that you don't like doing juice fast for 21 days. What you need to do is learn how to plan and prepare plan and prepare healthy meals from home consistently week after week as a lifestyle so that you know where most of your food is coming from, you know what's in most of your food, and you can just continue to repeat this over and over and over again. And I do have a new course out right now called Making It Stick. 
It's 30 days to developing healthy eating habits you can keep for life. And in this course, I teach you how to plan, how to prepare all of your meals in a week. I make it super simple, easily laying it all out, making a grocery list so that you're only buying what you need. Fast, simple ways to prep food. I don't even get in, you don't even need to use recipes. I'll show you how to do it without recipes. I like to keep it simple because we're all short on time and we all want to make things easy. And I promise you, this is a lot easier than you think it is. And you can do it. If it sounds like something that you are ready to do and you are ready to start planning and preparing meals from home, but you just feel a little frustrated, maybe a little overwhelmed, like there's too much information or it's complicated, I don't know what to do. This is your kickstart. This is going to set your 2017 off on the right foot with healthy habits that then you can just maintain. And a year from now, I guarantee you, you will look and feel completely different and you'll no longer feel like you're spinning your wheels and you're frustrated and you're stuck because you'll have a system that you can always return to and all you have to do is repeat it. So I'd love for you to check out Making It Stick. I'll post the link here with the video. It is a 30-day course. I am there with you to guide you through the entire 30 days to make sure that not only do you learn what you need to know, but you make those habits stick for good. So check that out. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear it. I see Amanda is on and she says she just made egg cups to eat for breakfast for a couple of days. That's a great idea. Um, you can make egg cups in, I'm not sure Amanda how you do yours, but you can do them in a muffin tin. So crack the eggs, put some vegetables in there, bake them in a muffin tin. You've got, you know, two of them is a great meal. So there are really lots of simple ways that you can easily prepare and prep a lot of food at once. It's gonna take you a little time out of your weekend, but once you've learned it and you start to do it consistently, it takes you less and less and less time. Skills that you can keep for life. And you guys, this is why I don't want you doing a meal plan. You can't do a meal plan forever. So once you're done with your meal plan, what do you do? You go back to how you used to eat because you don't know anything different. What I'm trying to do is teach you skills and knowledge that you can have for life that will help you in any situation when you're trying to determine what to eat and how to reach your goals. So I hope that was helpful. Just to recap, if you're feeling a little stuck and you're ready to change in 2017, pick something small, one small goal at a time that is measurable. Give it measure. It's got to be something that you can absolutely be able to say if you did it or you didn't and do it every day. 10,000 steps a day every day for the whole year. Five servings of vegetables every day for the whole year. Something like that. Not both, one. And it will be a great 2017 and a year from now, January 1st, 2018, you'll be feeling great and you'll be making great strides towards your goals. Thanks so much. I am Melanie Ash of MelanieAshFitness.com. Be sure to check out Making It Stick. I'll post the link here from the video. Happy New Year and best of luck in 2017.